The NHS constantly keep the pension scheme under review. Obviously, it's a very, very expensive scheme to run and administer. It costs millions of pounds a year to run. So um, they made changes to the scheme in 2008, but then they made further changes to the scheme in 2015. Part of the changes to the scheme in 2015 meant that some people didn't automatically transition from either the 95 scheme or the 08 scheme into the 2015 scheme. They put some kind of transitional arrangements in place for people that were aged between 46 and a half and 50, in a nutshell. Um, those trans not just for the NHS, but those transitional arrangements for all public service sector service schemes those transitional schemes got challenged on the basis that they, they were age discriminatory and that was found to be correct. So the whole McLeod judgment as it came to be known came about because um, the, 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 it, was, it was found to be age discriminatory so the government were, were made to put in place um, a, a solution to remove that age discrimination that became known as the McLeod judgment. For me, it affects everybody who, who was over the age of 31, really, um, on, on the 1st of April 2012, um, because we had this transitional arrangement that, that started from the 1st of April 2012, that went to the 1st of April 2015, um, and anybody who was kind of between uh, 31 and 50 on the 1st of April 2012 for me is affected. Now it affects them because because the scheme builds up benefits in different ways and because the scheme's got different retirement ages and the scheme's got different ways in which those benefits are assessed against things like the annual allowance for example then for some people it potentially would be better had they been left in the in the old scheme the, either the 95 scheme or the 08 scheme but for some people it is actually better if they did transition earlier across into the 2015 scheme so it's so complicated because you cannot put a right answer on there because people aren't born on the same day it's, it is literally unique for every single person unless two people were born on exactly the same day. So if two people were born on exactly the same day, they want to retire on exactly the same day and they've earned the same level of income throughout their entire life, then their situation is the same. It is that unique, so it affects everybody differently. What a dentist needs to do right now is hold the nerve um, because we're almost in a state of flux at the moment. So the scheme has decided to take um, the DCU option, which is the deferred choice underpin option. So nothing is going to happen until the very earliest March 2022. There's, almost, there's, almost, there's all, already grumblings that that is actually going to get stretched out to possibly September or October 2023. So in the, in the short term, dentists don't need to do anything. Deferred choice underpin means that they don't need to make a choice until they decide to take the benefits. So you don't actually need to make a decision until you decide that you want to retire. What you do need to do is just take specialist financial advice, just to make sure, because the thing about um, the decisions that you make when you retire, those decisions that you make are irreversible. So you need to be as confident as you can be that the decisions that you make are the right ones.